Rebels on roundabouts are going to take place up and down the country. Some happen during the week, some happen at the weekends. Not everybody can make it during the week because they're working commitments. But it's places like this that they seem to be trying to share the message, should we say, and get the message out. As controversial as it is, it's a real situation that needs more discussions and more debates from independent scientists and doctors, the ones who are being censored, should we say. Because the mainstream media and the government are only listening to certain individuals that seem to sing the same song and the same narrative. I'm here today openly to support pro-choice. Um, I think that we should all be able to make a decision um, about what goes in our own bodies. Um, if somebody wants to um, choose or not choose, I think people should be there to support that. I'm here to, uh, try and, to try and wake people up to what's really happening on this earth this very day and what's been happening for the last 18 months. We had a, a bit of a protest two weeks ago, there's just three of us today, there's ten, or nine or ten, whatever it is. We've got one in two weeks, we have a few more people, don't have to do anything, don't have to put themselves at risk, all they have to do is just stand there, smile and hold a placard if they want. They're not, don't even have to do that, they can just come and stand there if they want. On the 7th of November there's an event planned at Meadow Hall. Um, if people would like to bring the boards and come and join us, it'll be a fun day out. Will it be on one of the roundabouts? It will be on one of the roundabouts. Um, I think we are looking at either the roundabout near next um, or the roundabout coming into Meadow Hall, so um, where we can get a lot of footfall. We're getting loads of support from motorists passing by, obviously. We get a little bit of abuse, but you're going to get that. People do People don't know what they said, you know, they see us, they're taking them by surprise and so they either react in a good way or a bad way. A lot of people have been brainwashed by the media, so they're going to react in a bad way, but we can understand that. And we're not trying to convert anybody, we're just trying to wake people up, that's all. There's a sign there about uh, vaccinating the children, that's quite a controversial sign, isn't it? It is, and I think ultimately what a lot of parents um, are um, concerned about is um, whether or not there are any long-term effects. It's not the fact that they're against vaccinations, um, they just want a little bit of more time to make the mind up. You mentioned mainstream media there about brainwashing and things. I mean, a lot of people do believe, and, and even before the uh, pandemic started, that mainstream media was a, was a virus anyway. Well, it is a virus, Mark, as you well know. Uh, I always think this, me, Tories, I don't want to get political, but the Tories have been in, in power for 11 years now. In 11 years, they've not told the truth once, so why are people believing what they say about this virus? Why would they believe that? And everything else they've said has been an outright lie. Come along, two weeks today, to Meadow Hall on the roundabout. You're more than welcome to be. There's word out there on Twitter, on YouTube and on Facebook, I do believe. Uh, just come along, have a listen. We're not going to talk, like I said, we're not going to impress our rights on anybody. Think for yourselves, but at least all I want people to do is just wake up and think. You know what I mean? What's your view on vaccines that are still uh, being tested till May 20? 23. I think BioNTech is one of them. I think, um, personally, um, we need to consider the medium and long term data and I think we need more information on that um, for people to make informed choices because this should all be about informed consent. Do we know enough about the risks associated and it also should be down to that person to decide their risk versus their own benefits because obviously me and you, our risks would be very different. If the people want a vaccine, yeah, then that's entirely up to them. Do you know, I'm not here to influence anybody. I'm really, actually, I'm just bothered about myself and these vaccine passports things. I'm not into them. They want a vaccine, they can have it. I don't want it, but that's their choice. But I don't want a vaccine passport and I don't want anybody to have one. Because that's just segregating us even more than we are now.